let's continue exploring the universe within art and the art behind farming. I'm your host, Amle Du, and in this episode, we're going to build a super simple bunny breeder. This video was kind of requested by Raul BPC. Thank you so much for leaving a comment and leaving a request, and I will make an actual rabbit farm as soon as I can. I've just felt like lately I've been getting a little behind on requests, so I wanted to make this since it's so super easy. The way this works is we have a little hole next to these grindstones here where we can feed the rabbits to breed them up and of course where we can kill them with our looting sword or our axes depending on what items we want to drop. Now I'm not 100% sure how exactly the axe affects the drop rates of rabbits but I know that with like cows for example using an axe will give you more leather and using a sword will give you more food. So I'm assuming that rabbits are a similar way where they'll give you more hide maybe but I'm not too sure. But if you're trying to farm rabbits, I'm going to assume that you're trying to make tons of potions with the rabbit's feet, or you're just trying to get a few more trades to trade to villagers. Either way, I have tutorials for both the automated potion brewer and for this villager trader iron farm if you would like to check those out. But the first step is finding you a couple of bunnies to bring home. And they spawn in a ton of different biomes, from deserts to areas with snow to places that have tons and tons of flowers. So once you find a couple of furry friends, you can always hold a carrot to make them follow you. As long as you are holding the carrot, they will hop along following you wherever you go. And of course, you can always use leads as well. But once your new friends are safe and secure, it's time to build the breeder. Start off by placing a chest with a hopper going into the back of that chest. Then surround this with solid blocks, so two on each side and three on the back. Now we need to grab our grindstones and place one grindstone while facing the front on either side of the hopper, so they are in this orientation. Now place a piece of glass on top of this chest so that we can still open it, and then a solid block on the back to surround this hopper. Now we just need to get these bunnies onto the hopper. The simplest way that I've found to do this is by holding a carrot and then moving around, jumping around, you know, trying to get the bunnies up onto one of these blocks. So like if you crouch and move all the way back, they should jump up onto one of the blocks. Then ever so carefully, just push them into the hole. And basically, as long as you're holding a carrot, they will try to be within one block of you, so the one on the hopper won't go anywhere, while the other one will constantly try to come toward you. Once they're in the hole, we need to quickly trap them. As soon as we let go of the carrot, there's a chance that they can escape. So as soon as we let go of the carrot, we need to place those blocks, so we need to mentally prepare ourselves to place those blocks before we switch to those blocks. But once you've got them trapped, Break out these two blocks next to the chest, then you can add more of a roof if you want to to make it look a little better, but then we're done! Now we have a couple of cute little bunnies that are nesting inside of a hopper. I really like how they kind of sink down into the hopper, that's really, really cute. But now we can of course feed them carrots through the cracks in between the grindstone and the glass so that we can grow them and breed them up. One last thing to mention that is really, really important if you're playing multiplayer on realms or servers, and this applies to any sort of animal breeder, is never go nuts. Never leave this with like 20 rabbits in here. Always be sure to kill them back down to a reasonable amount. You know, especially animals like chickens and rabbits will cause incredible lag for all of the players if you leave them, you know, just piled up. You never, ever, ever want more than two or three to be left in your breeder at any given time if you're playing on multiplayer. Always remember to be friendly and be lag conscious for the other players. But that's all we got for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you did or didn't like, what's on your mind, or if you have any questions or requests, I will do my best to help you out. And I hope to see you again soon. But until then, I've been your host, Amaledu, sharing a farming trick or two. And reminding you, as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.